Telephone. 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 Party 93.4. Telephone. 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 The phone show. Telephone. 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 102.5. Telephone. 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 Live on the air. I know you guys haven't heard this little tune thing here enough, so I'm going to play it for another five or ten minutes, because I know everyone loves that. Um, this is The Phone Show on Party 93.4. I'm RBCP, and with me right now is Linear and Rogue Clown. Hi, everybody. Hello. back after uh, not co-hosting for two weeks, so I know uh, you missed me. Yeah, you've been in Japan. Have you been in Japan for two weeks, or just like a week, or... Uh, about a week, actually, and then, uh, yeah. You're probably just at some retarded hockey game the week before that or something. <laughs> well, you've been at DEF CON, so how was that? It was awesome. Very awesome. It was. It was a blast. I had a lot of fun. That's right, you were both at DEF CON. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, there's a lot of PLA people there. There was me, Rogue Clown, RTF. Uh, that's it. Speaking <laughs> you of were RTF, an item on the scavenger hunt. <laughs> oh yeah, I was an item on the scavenger hunt. I was worth twenty points, and a, par- a parking yep. a parking meter is worth a hundred points. So a parking meter is worth more than me. <laughs> I've always said yes, that. Yes, we were at DefCon, whereas I was an idiot and did not bring my parking meter to DefCon. Yeah, what were you thinking? Oh, eyeball was there. I forgot about eyeball. You mentioned RTF a couple seconds ago, so I just want to cut in real fast. Say thank you to RTF and, of course, Spessa for co-hosting the past two shows and doing a much better job than I ever do. And we all That's agree. Awesome. <laughs> I hear Spessa gets fan yeah, I'm mail. I'm sorry. I love you to death, Lanier, but, you know, you're not RTF. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, that's true. No, Rogue Clown, we're just kidding. Lanier's awesome. <laughs> You're not supposed to be serious. I'm not about saying Linear isn't awesome. I'm just saying he's not RTF. Yeah, oh, I heard you and RTF are having a baby. Congratulations. Uh, no. <laughs> a psychic told me that. Yeah, Linear's just now catching up to past episodes where <laughs> yeah, psychics the, were telling the us about just crazy <laughs> things that are obviously true in, in our futures. Yeah, how come when when I'm not on the show, you have all this awesome, all these awesome things planned, like calling psychics? But when I get on the show. All we do is complain about the stream not working properly. <laughs> Your bad luck, Linear. I guess so. You have a bad influence on technological devices. So, Rogue, you did yeah. a talk on um, uh, hackerspace uh, legalities. Which yep, I, I, I somehow to... managed to talk for almost an hour about legal concerns when you're starting a hackerspace, because hackerspaces are dangerous. Yeah, I never, I never knew there was so much to it. I, I attended that, and it was a good talk. And actually, since yeah. we don't have anything planned for the show tonight, we're just going to play that hour-long talk in its entirety, <laughs> starting now. <laughs> the phone show can be educational this week. And so everyone, uh, get out your notebooks and take notes, because we're going to have a quiz afterwards. <laughs> it's it's pro- all going to be on the test. Oh, and I guess I should apologize for the uh, issues a minute ago, because I had the... For some reason, the... The, the software I'm using wanted to talk to my USB headset, which wasn't turned on. Also, apparently the URL for the stream has changed. So if you're using the old stream, you're actually not hearing us right now. So you should change to the new yeah. stream. So if you don't hear us, uh, this is your <laughs> warning right now to go ahead and go to party934.com and change your, your stream thing. Uh, tonight's show, for me anyway, is sponsored by Spessa who uh, left a bunch of beer in my fridge when she visited last, so I'm drinking beer tonight because I, Def, DEF CON has turned me into a raging alcoholic and I just can't stop. I'm actually drinking beer as well, but I, I do not have a can to open and make cool sounds like you. I'm drinking it out of a bottle, but I'll open a new one. I should just, just so admit that that was a sound effect that I did. Oh, really? No, well, it wasn't. No, it I mean, wasn't. I'm, I'm drinking it out of a can too. See? Go ahead, play the sound. Play the sound. I, uh, yeah, it wasn't really sound effect. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not drinking beer right now, although I was drinking beer earlier since, you know, I went straight from the airport to the trivia night that I host every Monday, and now I'm finally home. I found a pub that does a trivia night close by me, but I've never done any trivia. Oh, we, did, so. we did that. They asked questions about um, Back to the Future and stuff, so I was actually useful at it in our oh. trivia group. I don't think, uh, well, maybe they'll ask cocky questions. Yeah, maybe. Then I can be useful. 
Yeah, tonight actually the owner of the bar told us that the questions that my two friends and a- my two friends and I were asking were too hard and that we had to ask easier questions. Oh, you always plan the questions or Yeah, we run the trivia night every week. Oh. You should just be on a team. Running it seems like too much work. That's a rogue. It's a lot of fun. I was on a team before and we would like win every week, so we started running it and now the the owner's like, We've had complaints that your questions are too hard. <laughs> Quit being so I'm goddamn smart. <laughs> I'm not. He pulled us over right before the trivia night started. <laughs> Rogue, I can't remember. Were were you and or RTF able to uh, hear our entries into the social engineering contest? No, we weren't. I don't know when you guys actually did. Like, I talked to you before it, but I didn't hear your entries. Well, you know, I went to your talk, so I would have appreciated if you had gone to mine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know when you were doing it. I know. It was kind of unexpected, and we did it at the last minute, and I didn't Twitter about it or anything. So you have an entry. Does that mean you recorded it, and we can listen to it at some point? Yeah. um, The social engineering was put together, apparently, by not Kevin. And um, I didn't even stick around for the other entries, because there was so much music playing in the contest room that we couldn't hear anything anyway. And I, like, hardly anyone heard ours. But I think we either won, or we got one of the places I never got to hear that because I had to leave before closing ceremonies. Um, Do you have the recording tonight like available? Yes. Um, play it. Okay. The, the th- okay. It's a social engineering contest. Ours is more of just us being jerks and making prank <laughs> calls than actually social engineering. But we got the frequency. You being a jerk and making calls. You never do that. Yeah. I know it's surprising, but, um, yeah, we got the hotel frequencies, the radio frequencies, and we listened for the housekeeping people to be paged into certain rooms for certain things. Like, you know, hey, go to so-and-so room and bring them some towels. And then we would call that room and uh, interfere with, or we would talk to the guest that was about to have something delivered to their room. So here's one uh, where they're they're being asked to uh, remake up a room. I wasn't sure what that meant, so I asked her, but here, here it is. Maybe. Let's see. It's bright. 27 need a makeup. They just checked in, I guess. 627. For what? Hello? Hi, this is uh, Roy from Housekeeping. I understand you need something done in your room? Um, yes. The item is not completely sure the room was cleaned properly. The sink is still stopped up as it was when we first checked into the room. Um, I don't believe the bathtub is clean. The bed is... Rogue and Linary, you can hear this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure because we're having these problems. Poorly, the sheets are like falling off and the comforter is not clean. Oh, could, could you try flushing the toilet for me real quick and see if that makes the sink go down? Well, we, we viewed the toilet already and we've already flushed it. Oh, well, if you flush it twice, like hit it two times, it, it's mm-hmm. it's kind of like a code. Hit it two times and then one time and it, sh- it should do the sink. And flushing the toilet will fix the sink? I, I think if you could try it while I'm on the phone, real quick, we'll see if that helps. Okay, hold on. Please. Uh, I wonder. Okay, there's very bad editing done on this. There, there's a bunch of just crap in the middle, so I'm going to skip through it. Um, but there was two minutes of just silence while she went off and flushed the toilet, and uh, then her husband comes back on, and I have to talk him off of it and get her back on because I wanted a female because we'd only been yelling at males at that point. Sexist. Yeah. <laughs> So. Let me fast forward. Oh, by the way, I, I know this is stupid because he's not listening, but there's this, there's this guy named Scott Miller. He does a show in Vegas called Geeks on the Go, and he was cool enough to loan me his laptop computer so I could edit this together for the contest. So I, I won fabulous prizes because of Scott Miller from Geeks on the Go. You should stop saying Scott Miller because uh, Spessa is your your sponsor today, and she might get upset if you're sponsoring other people. (laughs) She's going to drive to my house and take away the rest of the beer from my fridge. (laughs) Oh, and I should also mention that Serbo and I hacked. I mean, Serbo and Heaven sent from iHacked.com. They're they're like throwing ideas at me for this call, so it's not all me; it's them, too. Jennifer, they want to talk to you. Oh, come on. Pick up the phone, lady. Hello? Oh, hi. Um, yes. Uh, what was the other problems with the room? Um, the bed. The comforter is not clean. There's stains on the comforter. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if she 
change the sheets or what? The sheets aren't. The bed's not made. The bed's right. not made. I don't know if, well, you know, they just left it the way. Why don't you just you know, make they, it? They from where it was before we came. I mean, when we came in earlier or what? Oh, I see. Why don't you just make it yourself, though? I'm sorry. Why don't you just make it yourself? Cause we kinda because we kind of had. I just checked into a hotel today. And the whole the room should be presentable. Yeah, but you, but the in the, in the time you've spent making this phone call, you could have made the bed yourself by now. Like what? You're just wasting our both of our times, really. Excuse me. I said you're kind of wasting my time and your time by just okay. being a big complainer. Well, can I speak to your manager. Uh, no, but um, and what kind of stains are on the bed? I'm sorry. What's your manager's name? What, I'm sorry. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jeff. Or the manager's name is Jeff Moss. Okay. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Roy. Your name's Roy? Yeah. Okay, can I speak to Jeff Moss, please? Uh, Jeff Moss is busy running the con, the DEF CON. Um, okay. And, uh, Who's in charge of you right now? Okay, so you just need us to come up and make the bed then? Is that what this is all about? I'm, I'm sorry that I have a problem with whoever came to do their job didn't do their job correctly. Okay, do you think you could fold up the sheets for me and set them in a nice pile, nice and neat? Uh, stack the biggest sheets on bottom and the smallest ones on top and we'll come pick them up? So you're saying that the person that was supposed to do their job, you want me to do their job for them? Yeah, could you please? We're a little bit... So, uh, we're, if I do that, then that means somebody's paying me what? That means I get comped off my room? Oh, no. For, I'm for doing you all's job? No, you're just helping out. We're still going to have to charge you an extra $25 to remake up your room. Why are you charging me an extra $25 when it wasn't done correctly in the first place? That's well, that, that's your opinion. Uh, that we, and that, then they left the sink the way it was. Nobody came to fix the sink. Why can't you just uh, use? We've had there's cups in there on the bathroom sink. You could use those cups to, uh, you know, get the water out of the sink. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Roy, I'm gonna go down to the front desk and I'm gonna find somebody to talk to. Well, why can't you talk to me? I'm trying to help you right now. That was it. That was good. Wow. I'm really not surprised that her room was such a mess. Because <laughs> in my hallway, um, I was in like one of the other towers at the Riviera. Um, the room across from us, there was this bowl of oatmeal. And after about two days into the con, it was still there. So we were like, do they just eat oatmeal every day? Or is it still the same <laughs> bowl sitting there? So Rob put one of his cards into the bowl. I noticed that when I went And by. as of when we checked out this morning... That bowl was still there with Rob's card in it. That's pretty weird. I mean, there's like, like gross. maids up there every day. You'd think they'd pick up dishes. Yeah, I mean, my room was always like made up. The you know the bed was always made and stuff by the time we came back. But for some reason, they didn't you know clean out the room service dishes. I'm really glad I never got room service. <laughs> well, there was a this- second part of that call, but I'm not going to play it because there's a bunch of GSM buzz on the line, and I'm going to try and filter that out. If I, I might put this on PLA radio or something because we did like four or five calls that night or that day. But so uh, this is at the Riviera that you were doing this, or what hotel was it? Yeah, it was the Riviera. We, we was, was that where the con was actually held this year? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Yep. So uh, I beat the social engineering contest with a stupid prank call. So that's an <laughs> award-winning prank call. Are, are you also responsible for the killer bees? <laughs> I wish I was, but no. <laughs> Talk about the killer bees. Yeah, I still can't believe it. I mean, all week I was looking forward because usually there's like a pool party after the last day of the con. But we found out, you know, near the end of the you know, talks and the closing ceremonies that they closed down the entire pool area because it was infested with killer bees. And were they actually killer bees or were they just bees? I don't know if they were, in fact, killer bees or regular bees. It's just a lot more fun to say killer bees. And no matter what kind of bees they were, I still couldn't get to the freaking pools. They were killing my fun. <laughs> yeah, I saw it come across the Twitter, and I thought it was a, a joke or something. But No, me and, me it and was. I, me and I by, by walked by a window, and the place was just full of bees. They wouldn't let anybody out there. Yeah, I thought it was a joke, too, until I leave the um, – I left the closing ceremony. And on the way back to the tower – there's a hotel guard sitting by the door out to the pool area. Like, you couldn't even go outside. Yeah. That's pretty bizarre. Only at DEF CON. Oh, also at DEF CON. This is cool. I, I just read this because somebody sent it to me on a Instant Messenger today. But, um, you know, one of those um, ATM skimmer machines was found on an ATM inside the hotel. Did you hear about this, Rogue? 
Um, I didn't hear about an ATM skimmer. I heard about a fake ATM, and I heard about... Well, I didn't hear about, about skimmers at the Riviera. I heard all the ATMs at the Rio got hacked, and they were skimming there. I didn't oh. hear about them at the Riviera. Yeah. Well, I, I heard it was like an actual scam artist or whatever that did it, and the hackers found it and turned it in, because hackers are good people. Hackers That's, are good people. Uh, did either of you, or well, I guess Rogue didn't, but did you see the skimmers, RBCP? No, I wish I had I hope whoever did took pictures of it because those are always fun to look at. I imagine, like, because the, the ones I've seen, and maybe they're just really old ones, but the ones I've seen are so obvious. Like, if you put your card into a machine that looks like that, you are you you deserve that money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, apparently the one they put at the Riviera, they found a a place where the security cameras, you couldn't see it very easily, and they put, like, some kind of other computer into an ATM housing and it was a fake ATM. It wouldn't give you any money. It would just steal your card number and then be like, oh, you know, I'm sorry, the ATM's out of money. That's pretty complex. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, it's, you know, not a very nice move to steal the ATM cards. On the other hand, that took some guts. Yeah. (laughs) True. Yeah, especially in a hotel casino because they have, you know, security cameras that they actually use. (laughs) Yeah, but then again, I've never seen a casino as dead as the Riviera's casino floor. Yeah, that's true. I, mean, I didn't see a lot of the machines filled up. Yeah, there's nobody there. And I mean, I wasn't paying that much attention. I wasn't paying that much attention because I was focused on DEF CON. But then, you know, I'd go to Caesar's Palace or like I went to Treasure Island for dinner last night. And like all these other casinos actually had people playing the slot machines, which was kind of a novel concept. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now that you mention it, there wasn't a lot of people playing the machines. Hi, caller. Who's this? So it's Spessa. Hi, Spessa. I'm, Hi, Spessa. I'm just going to be hey, quiet like Linear in the background. What the and, fuck uh, I'm talking Linear about? and I are going to kind of like roll our eyes and stuff <laughs> about the things you guys say. So, go. Thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the beer, Spessa. There's, there's, th- th- Anytime. Th- there's three left after these two that I've drank already. So uh, I'm going to need you to come by and restock soon. I will. Because I never buy beer on my own. I'll put it you should have Spessa bring you beer. That's right. That's what women I'm are good, good for. I'm like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing at Drolly that I got to mention. <laughs> yeah, I was looking. Uh, one more thing at DEF CON I got to mention is Drolly. Uh, she was a caller, I think, either last week or the week before. She was a caller to the phone show, and uh, she ended up meeting me there which was kind of cool to meet someone who listens to the phone show. And she didn't know much about the rest of the PLA, I don't think, but only the phone show. She's a friend of Flamutes. So, ah. so yeah. hi, Drolly. Thanks for um, saying hello to me um, pretty much six or seven times a day. Because uh, we kept... She was the most... The person I bumped into the most was Drolly. Like, it seemed like every couple hours I would see her and say hello. Yay, like, every Drolly. time you uh, entered or exited your hotel room, there she was for some reason. It was weird. Yeah. What are the odds? <laughs> Do you get that uh, quote linear? <laughs> well, you have Just to like... say one in one for the quote to be full. Oh, one I'll, in I'll one. I'll do it again. What are the odds? Uh, one in one? I didn't mumble Perfect. enough. Beautiful. Yeah, DEF CON was cool. And nobody else is calling in, really. So we're just going to like, like just go on and on about DEF CON. That's really what I want. Please continue. <laughs> what else can we say about DEFCON? Yeah, I'm trying to think what else I want to recap about it. I mean... Did anyone have any computers at DEFCON? No. God, don't be stupid. <laughs> I was interested. God, Lanier. Oh, that that, remi- <laughs> that reminds me of one thing that apparently they do it every year, but it was my first DEFCON, so I was you no know, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and blah, blah, blah. But in the contest room, they had this thing there called the Wall of Sheep. Now, if you go to DEF CON, the first thing you learn is you don't use the ATMs. The second thing you learn I did. is you don't sign I did. into anything on network unless you are sure, sure, sure that it's encrypted. Because people are sniffing packets. People are going to steal your information. And so what these people in the contest room did was set up a wall of shape. And anyone who tried to sign into a website, it was mostly Twitter, although there were, you know, lots of random ones too. They would post your handle 
the first three characters of your password and like I think various other information about you enough to like not necessarily enough to figure out the rest of it, but still enough to be like, oh, that's such and such's handle. Wow, you're an idiot. Were you on there? I was not on there. <laughs> I, I was. was. It was embarrassing. Smart enough to. I, I was smart enough not to go online from the DefCon network. Well, RBCP, you have some experience with this from a few cons past, not DefCon, but another con. Yeah. Maybe. Speaking of Flamut, um, yeah, I logged into my Yahoo email <laughs> email from uh, uh, RubyCon back in 1999 or so, and Flamut or. Uh, it might have been Asher, I think, maybe. Or no, it was Flamute, and Asher wrote down my um, password and username on on a big poster board and put it in the hall. And I had to, <laughs> I had to call up uh, my well, hold on. I had to call up my then wife on my cell phone and ask her to change my password quickly. It sucked. This sounds like propaganda. I'm not falling for any of it. I'm serious. He hacked into my yeah, room, I've gotten, too. I, I've gotten much more picky about not actually signing into anything on public networks ever since I you know, adopted the hobby of packet sniffing and realized how much information a total noob like me could actually steal. Yeah. Packet sniffing, that sounds, sounds dirty. This is a PG-13 show. <laughs> yeah, cut it out. Oh, I'll sniff your packets any day, Lanier. How'd you do on your um, scavenger hunt, Rogue? Um, we didn't, you know, we didn't place or anything, but we had fun. Wow. We did lots of silly things, and I'm hoping to go back next year and hopefully do better. Hmm. I thought you would actually get up there somewhere, because it seemed like you put a lot of effort into it. Um, we were definitely up and down. I mean, if we if we had downtime, didn't have any other, like, talks or events that we were planning on going to, we worked on Scavenger Hunt, but we didn't let it take over our entire con and we didn't let it stop us from, you know, going to all the parties and well, in my case, getting drunk and Rob's case, not so much. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of cool pictures from everything you guys did. Cause I, I thought it was pretty amusing to watch. Um, <laughs> like the whole cannonball thing you were supposed to, what was it like a hundred points to bring oh, it to bring it a hundred points for a cannonball. And so we got the idea that I would put my swimsuit on and do a cannonball into the pools. So that's what we did. We took a video of it and then took it to the judges and they shrugged and they laughed and they gave us a hundred points. <laughs> kind of, you know, reminds us of, there was another one we interpreted kind of weird as well. All it said was tap a phone. So I pulled my cell phone out of my pocket, tapped it with my finger, and they had to give us points for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so you didn't get eaten by killer bees. We did not get eaten by killer bees. That was that was nice. I I'm have, glad I did not get eaten. I would have by loved bees. to have been in the pool area when that happened, and, and I would have loved to have just happened to have my video camera out. Like even if I got stung a bunch, that would just be so worth it to see the the chaos <laughs> ensue. Yeah, I'm strange. And, you know, even so, I still think that's going to be a classic. I think there are going to be plenty of us, you know, to go back to DefCon next year and be like, "Hey, remember when we couldn't go to the pool because of those bees?" <laughs> Approximately, how many people died in the killer bee attack? <laughs> um, approximately up. zero. They haven't posted it yet, Rogue, so you don't know. I mean, there's... That is true. They haven't posted it yet, but I still think that if think anyone had died as a result of the killer bees, I would have seen it on Twitter. But I think there's a cover-up happening. Yeah. I will wait for the DefCon.org page to update, and maybe you'll see something about it. I think we need to get Richard Cardo to investigate. <laughs> <laughs> and make a 42-part yeah, series. If there's anyone who's an expert on killer bees, it's Richard Cardo. <laughs> A general expert. Killer bees and child molestation. <laughs> that's his specialties. <laughs> and murder. Um, so I'm supposed to play a song every 15 minutes is my deal with Party 93.4, and I guess I should do that since we've been talking for 30 minutes now. That's crazy, isn't it? That's nuts. 30 minutes? All to the wall. Well, you know, uh, I guess the first five minutes or so was me, um, us not talking because the thing wasn't working. Well, we were talking, but no one heard us. <laughs> yeah. And it was the best part of the show, too. We we said some really incredible things. Yeah. It was hilarious. <laughs> and it's never going to happen again because it was too good. 
Yep. Well, we we figured out the super secret leap zero day. What was that, Spessa? I said humanity's really leaving out. Yeah. Oh, uh, I sh- that that reminds me. Um, you know, I I do the whole Domino's uh, pizza microphone test thing every week, and I usually post it in the beginning of the show. Uh, today, I f- I was starting to think. You know that that joke's getting old. It's tired. I'm not going to do it today. But I still need to test to test my mic. So I called Domino's. He said hello. I said a bunch of nonsense. I forget what it was. And he's just like, ha, 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 mic test, huh? Oh, so, he's on to you. I've got him trained. It would have been funny to hear that. but Yeah, but suspiciously, he didn't record it. So, you know, <laughs> bullshit. That just means you have to call him next week and record it. Yeah, I, I always do. That's that's my test number. Um, Okay, so, Linear, I know you haven't heard of this guy. Um, uh, uh, Who else is on the line? Rogue Clown. Have you ever heard of a... a musical artist guy named Glenn Case? I have not. Okay, I'm going to play something by Glenn Case that I was playing earlier uh, while we were having technical difficulties. I just found this guy on a podcast uh, last night as I was driving home from the airport. And for some reason, I think it's awesome, even though I'm not a Star Wars fan. But uh, this is Glenn Case. And, oh, everyone should call the show, 505-796-4020 or phonelosers.org on Skype. All right, we're back, and there are no new callers. So since nobody's going to call in, we're just going to, um, oops, we're going to just, this is going to be the DEFCON wrap-up show, I guess. So if you want us to shut the hell up about DEFCON, then give us a call at 505-796-4020. Hey, Rob, I'd really like an in-depth story about pooping in stall number three. I did poop in stall number three at DEFCON. And I, I tweeted, and invited people to come and say hello to me, and they didn't. Did he, no one came to say hello? No. How long Aww. were you pooping? I was in there a good twenty minutes, and not a single person. <laughs> wow. You could have just showed them your log. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's you, pretty... you should have t- uh, posted a twit pic of it. I'm surprised you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my personal blog. <laughs> Oh, the speaking of bathrooms, there was another bathroom-related shenanigan on the scavenger hunt list this year. Um, we had to make an official-looking sign that said, you know, something to the effect of, you know, notice for security purposes you are under video surveillance and hang it in a bathroom stall. That sounds familiar, doesn't it, Spessa? Uh, okay, yeah, it's really bringing back memories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know, our sign is real. Our sign is really nice and well drawn because Rob did that. You know, if I did it, it would have looked Ooh, like is she a mess. Sign socks? I think she is. Huh. I've had enough of this lady. Oh, we her have to underhanded. Take, we have to take this call from hurtful comments. We have to take this call from Florida because uh, okay. it's a call. Hi, you're on the DefCon wrap up show. They hung up. Fuck. <laughs> Fail. They either hung up or my Skype hung up on them. So sorry if I hung up on you. It wasn't my fault. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. The the sign. Have you seen on SignHacker dot com Rogue the uh, my bathroom video surveillance sign? She adores sign. Yes, I have. So I wonder if they got that idea from there or. I want to take. Wouldn't be surprising given that there was another PLA related item on the list. Oh, that's true. What was that? Uh, which was. Oh, the uh, one of the scavenger hunt items was uh, an original member of the PLA. Who who set up the scavenger hunt thing anyway? Civiac. Who? Civiac. Oh. Who the hell, Civiac? Who the fuck? Um, some guy who was drunk every single time I ran into him the entire weekend to give him items. That Apparently, he's like won the scavenger hunt several times in the past, so ended up taking it over. So it was a drunk guy at DefCon. <laughs> I don't believe it. I know, one of a million. <laughs> hmm. I was Hacker Jeopardy. Well, anyway, I want to say RTS Hacker signing... Jeopardy was fail hey, because shut up. they didn't call our number. <laughs> oh, say didn't. what you want to say. Talk over them. <laughs> yeah, just ignore me. What did you want to say, douchebag? Oh, I just want to say RTF sign actually was really cool, and I think I'm going to um, take the picture he has of it and put it on signhacker.com. 
You're going to replace Spessa's well. sign? Well, it wasn't Spessa's. That, not that's, replace no, that's what I'm saying. You're, go- you're going to replace the one Spessa put up on signhacker.com with RTFs. Well, that wasn't Spessa's. That was mine. Come on. For the purpose of this fucking joke, <laughs> it was Spessa's. Quit cursing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Take that, Spessa. Don't you feel like a dummy now? I'm, I'm quietly crying. You're stewing in anger. <laughs> When are we going to be able to confirm that we are actually, you know, we are actually on the air in New York? When somebody calls in from the Hudson Valley area of New York. Uh, if you have caller ID spoofing, uh, I'd appreciate it if you could make a <laughs> pretend call from Hudson Valley, New York, and convince me that I'm actually on the FM radio. We will stop saying fucking if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even find proof that Hudson Valley actually exists. I, I don't think New York is real, to tell you the truth. <laughs> um, Big scam. I, I can't think of any awful other awful things I did at DEF CON. Um, mainly it was just the prank calls to the to the rooms from listening to the radios. And you poop? Yeah, I pooped. Uh, I, went, I went to a, a party at the Playboy Club and Hard Rock Cafe. and. How many boobs did you touch? Like... Five. That's a odd number. <laughs> Five boobs. There's one that got left out. There's actually 28 people listening to us right now. None of them can call us. Yeah, I think the I, I think the most mischievous thing I did the entire week was actually not during DEF CON. It was before that. I ended up getting into... There, there's always a really swanky speakers party for Black Hat. And obviously I was not speaking at Black Hat, but ended up in the party anyway through a stroke of good luck and found out that there is, in fact, a pool on the roof at Caesar's Palace. Cool. You're just trying that to trick some high school student. That was incredibly mischievous of you. <laughs> no, I am, I'm serious. I know, I know it's a common joke, but there is, in fact, a pool on the roof at Caesar's Palace, which amused me. Hmm. Oh, well, you you and, right, you and RTF uh, tried to get into the Microsoft party, and failed. and we failed miserably. And and he made a really amusing tweet that said, uh, "Microsoft finally figured out how to secure things." <laughs> yeah, that was the realization we came to. They secure their party so much better than they secure their operating system. Yeah, that's where all their money goes is securing things like that. <laughs> hey, is anybody on the Windows Seven beta? Speaking of Microsoft. Not me. Okay, never mind. I'm still using Windows 3.1. Yeah, the, it didn't Come get much on, better than that. to for work groups. Oh no, I, I'm using Windows for work groups. Windows 3.11, oh. I think it is. One one, okay. Yeah, Good. sorry. So, how long were you there, Brad? At DEF CON, I, I got there Thursday, um, and and left Sunday night. So you're there about four days. Um, Stupid uh, eyeball. Well, I shouldn't say stupid. Um, eyeball rules. <laughs> motherfucker. He, he actually uh, came and picked me up at the airport and then drove me back to the airport. But um, I, I was kind of running late going to the airport, and he lost his car. We had to walk, up, I think, four four stories of car garage looking for it. I think that qualifies as stupid. That's okay. Yeah, you're you stupid, stupid, eyeball. stupid eyeball. Well, anyways, I find it disconcerting that in four days you only pooped once at DEF CON. <laughs> well, um, it took him 20 minutes. Come on. <laughs> that's true. Who's saving it up? Yeah, I say I normally save all my poops when I go to conventions, and I wait till I go home because I don't like to poop in public. But I just couldn't help. But you help sure it. like talking about it. <laughs> well, I, Linear's the one that bought it up. You're the one that bought it up the first time, so. How could I bring it up without having all the intimate details? Oh, well, here's um someone calling. Holy crap! Um, yay! Hi, you're on the show. Hi. I'm- Hi. Hi. Tell us a thing or two. I think we're having that problem where people call in and it just hangs up on them. Um, Don't and it, say that. Just let them think that we're <laughs> rude. And there's a guy trying to call in. His name is Fresh Wares. And for some reason, the button is not <laughs> on his window that lets me add him to the conference. If I pick up for him, I'm going to have to put you three on hold. And we can't have that. Maybe there's a limit to how many people I can have on. No, we've had. Well, don't get rid of me. Yeah, we've had like six people on it once before, so I don't know what's going on. 
Remember when we gave everyone's uh, rogue clowns everyone's phone number? Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Like, you, you know, you say you're so smart because you won't go on to a public network, but you'll sure come on to the phone show with your real phone number. <laughs> you big dummy. I say I'm so smart sometimes. Sometimes I'm just stupid. Yeah. Well, you're still a noob, technically. Just keep There's no technically it. about it. I'm still It'll a noob. Come true. So, um, if you try to call in, I definitely will attempt to pick up. But uh, if it doesn't pick up, I'm really not hanging up on you. You're such a liar. What, Spessa? Okay, here's nine 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 calling in again. Hi nine 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 nine. Welcome to Red Fox. Haley Beckford. It's Neely. All the accessories. Clockwork calling. I mean, I've got nine 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 Okay, I know I said I wasn't hanging up on people that called in, <laughs> but I just hung up on you, Mr. 999999. Because you sounded like a ghost and we were scared. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like a ghost was trying to fuck my ear. If that was menacing, then you did your job. Yay. I'm going to play some more Glenn Case now, because that's all I put in the queue to play tonight. Good. Our phone number is 505-796-4020 or phonelosers.org on Skype. Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Jeff. No. No. Can't do it again. Come on. Hi, you're on the phone show. Who's this? Uh, music's still playing. You're what? Music's still playing on the stream. There's a delay. There's a delay. Turn your turn, uh, turn your computer off unless you're on it to to talk to us. Oh no. Hey, this is Fresh Wares. <laughs> yeah, Fresh Wares finally got through by calling in on a normal line. Yeah, so, actually I'm calling through Skype and finally the line is not failing. Oh, uh, well this time it came in as out of area. Mm. It, it doesn't say your name on it anymore. Yeah. Next time you have to play music, play Hillary Duff. <laughs> oh, I love her. Yay. Got the Duff fans calling in. And Mr. 9999. So tell us about your fresh wares. And please don't tell us anything about any stale wares. <laughs> what do you have to offer? Come on, fresh wares. What have you got? Oh, fresh oh sorry. I was lying. You guys cut out. Jeez. Oh. What what have you got in the way of wares? Uh, basically, I found a script in your old UPL thing, and I decided to name myself temporarily Fresh Out Wares on Skype. I see. Oh. So you don't have any wares whatsoever? Uh, I changed that script to a PHP script, but that's about it. <laughs> Disappointing, to say the least. Were you at Lost DEFCON? Back, so. This is the DEF CON wrap-up show. Were you at DEF CON? I wish. That'd be awesome. Can you pretend you were there and just make up stories? Oh, yeah. I remember when... Uh... No, yeah. I have nothing. Yeah, I remember that. So, uh... He had memories of DEF CON, but they were stolen by the killer bees. Damn those killer bees. Uh. <laughs> Stealing our content. Yeah. Um, so, who was it? Uh, Paul.com. They had a table where they sold hack naked t shirts, which apparently did very well because every tenth person I saw was wearing a hack naked t shirt. And they were nice enough to put out PLA media CDs for everyone to take. Like 200 of them I brought with me. So, thanks. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Paul.com for, you know, sponsoring the Phone Losers CDs. Sort of. You guys and then they nice. also had the podcasters meet up. It was like Paul.com and Security Justice and Exotic Liability and a couple of other podcasts that I'm forgetting right now. The Germ Girls. The Germ Girls. Rachel and Georgia. And, um, in, in, uh, uh, yeah, I don't remember those other guys. There's, there's one. There's one. Yeah, there's some guys really in really the middle and I'm blanking out. What, what was that, Spessa? What about that one PLA radio guy? 
Oh, I didn't go up to the table. I'm not an information security person. I'm a noob. Oh, what were you involved with? Did you already talk about that? Well, I was listed as being at the podcasters meetup, but I was just kind of there. Oh. I, I didn't go up to the table and talk. The table was really full. They had people like curving around the corners and stuff, and they were out of microphones. So apparently the germ girls were more important than me. You were just eye candy? Yeah, pretty much. Who's typing? Definitely not me. I swear. I think it's Wares Guy. Yes, it is me. He's typing up some fresh wares. <laughs> I am. You're coding Where's your wares by hand. You're supposed to be talking and like, keeping the flow going, not typing to your buddy. Who calls the phone show <laughs> and types at us? Come on. Come on. Dumb bastard. Yeah, I should. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> so what, yeah, what you guys you... should do some psychic readings. Oh, uh, we don't have that set up tonight. Uh, Spess's, no. inher- Spess's inheritance ran out, so we can't really uh, afford any more of that. I'm out of money. Yep. Oh, no. Spent it all on booze and psychics. <laughs> and my tit job. Yeah, don't forget that. I see. So, um, Wares person, um, I forget your name because you're coming in and it's unknown now, but... Chunky Wares. How come you're calling? Uh, my friend told me to. Do you just, like, feel like you're hanging out with and now he, he he could be talking right now, but he's, no, he's just sitting there typing to me. If your friend told you to jump off a bridge, would you do that? I would. That's so fatherly of you to ask. <laughs> yep. I don't know if I like that. 13 years of being a dad. Oh, and everyone should go buy PLA uh, stickers and buttons, because they're awesome, and I just got mine. Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> So you heard it from Where's Where's Guy, like, uh, I don't rip off people when they PayPal me money. I actually send their merchandise. I think RBC yeah, people paid this guy to call and talk about this. Yeah, he sure took his goddamn time about it. <laughs> <laughs> First he had to, like, chat for a while on Yahoo. You just did that to make He's it sound silent. more legitimate. Yeah. Yeah, go to, yeah. Go to p- phonelosers.org slash store and buy t-shirts and buttons and pins and... Get make Brad rich. Oh, and fix, fix your damn pins button. I couldn't buy anything. I had to make my own form. Oh, that was you. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, here, let me pull up that email, and I'm going to read your address over the air. <laughs> no. I think your phone number and real name's on there, too. <laughs> okay, I won't do that, because that's too much effort. Anyway. God damn it, there's still five minutes left of this stupid show. Oh, no. A Ford 1986 Ford motherfucker. You could always play some Chris. music. Yeah, that, that's it, um, Where's person. I'm hanging up on you because you just cursed on the air. And we oh, oh yeah, sir. I forgot you had a radio show. Thanks for calling in, and thanks for ordering merchandise. I use that money wisely. I will be with Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Music. Buy me something. Out of my mind, but it never seems to matter. I know... You've got like five minutes to call in if you want to call in about anything. So the number is 505-796-4020. Except for that one guy that keeps calling in because we don't want to talk to you. Oh, hold on. Hey, White Sword. What's up, buddy? Oh, nothing. Are you the roommate of that one girl? What's that? Oh, Are she... you the roommate of that one girl? No. No, White, oh. White Sword doesn't like girls. <laughs> no. So what are you up to, Brad? How's the uh, death con? carries a cactus around at Hope and takes pictures. That's right. We got that guy from uh, Mythbusters holding the cactus. When are you going to go to <laughs> When are you going to go to Defcon again, White Sword? Uh, probably next year. Okay. I'm going to stay away yeah. then. I'm going to go to Hope instead. Uh, don't go to Hope, dude. Hope sucks. I don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I gotta hope and death con sure. Spes- Spes- this is White Sword. He's the one that runs the uh, Tron blog with all of Tron's info on it, <laughs> which has been taken down. Actually, I got an email a couple weeks ago oh, saying it was sucks. taken down for violation. Oh, that's too what's bad. Yeah. What's the violation? Uh, violations of terms of service. Like, he posts well, like obviously. Tron's social security numbers and phone numbers and everything on there. <laughs> I can't like, see what's his, possibly wrong with his that. medication milligrams from Walmart and stuff. 
Yeah, yeah uh, but I mean, if, if Tron wants point. to, if Tron wants to disclose that information on his own blog, I think he should be allowed to. <laughs> That's true. You know, in the Christmas cards. Did you ever send those Christmas cards out? No. When I, we made all those. No. Not, a, not enough people really uh, signed it, so I didn't. It, like people weren't really scanning their signatures; they were just um, taking pictures, and they look like crap. <laughs> But people are still scared. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. Yeah, he hated that. He thought you ran that. He was sending me messages and wanted to know who ran that. <laughs> so that's why Tron posted my info on my own forums a while back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, I got a, I got a call from him a couple, a couple weeks ago before I called his PO. He was masturbating on my phone, my voicemail and stuff. So I called up his PO, and I was like, look, this is the telephone I'm just calling from. Gave her the number, and it's like, here he is. And she's like, you really didn't have to play that for me. I'm like, well, you know, now you feel just as much as violated as I do. <laughs> That's great. So, yeah, and I, I haven't heard from him since then. I, I, I called Tron's did, PO. Did he ejaculate? Yeah, did he come? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't listen all the way. Uh-huh. There's just some things you don't talk about in public. <laughs> yeah. Or on the radio. Yeah, I, I called exactly. I called Tron's PO as well because he uh, posted some things about my kids on Linear's forums. And he, oh wow! And he he's got, actually a really nice lady. He, he, Sometimes I've called and talked to her and given why her. Why don't you guys go out to lunch? Well, who? Oh, to the lady. Yeah, I can hook you up with her white sword. I got her number. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Make a date. I will. We'll bring you too. Yeah, I, uh, at the podcasters meetup, I can't remember who this guy was, but apparently he lives in Eugene, Oregon, and uh, he said hello to me, and he was a big Tron hater, and he was going on and on and on about Tron, which was fun. And mm-hmm. I told him I had all of Tron's info, and he could have it if he want, wanted to. Yeah, I still got all those backed up somewhere. I just got to find them. I had them on CD. I got more info than you. I had to retaliate for him posting my home address, which well, is yeah, that's, listed, by the way. effed up. Oh, and- you know, the thing is, like, I uh, I don't, did I ever send you that recording of him when, like, I think he'd just gotten out, like, two days, and um, he was just being retarded. I mean, just the things he was saying, which just didn't make what? sense, and I was telling, and I was telling him, was like... I, yeah, I think, I, I think you did. I'm pretty sure I heard that. It was really interesting. Yeah. But not interesting enough to reiterate right now. No. Spessa seems to hate you, White Sword. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, this is my normal interaction with people what yeah, are you she, talking about she's like this with me too but since other people are here she's leaving me alone so that's kind of nice <laughs> so anyways I figured I'd just call in um, and say what's up cool uh, have you been listening to the phone show for a long time yes day one every oh, day I had no idea I listen to it over and over <laughs> well that sucks actually I mean it's not that interesting come on hello <laughs> Uh oh, did I lose everyone? Linear? Give me money back when I bought another yeah. hat. Oh, I I think uh, everybody cut out there for a minute, but um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we 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 should uh we should let you go, uh, White Sword. We're gonna kind of wrap up the show and stuff. Okay, man. But, uh, Talk to you later. Call in again Bye. next week or something. Bye. Bye. Yeah, uh, everybody cut out. I think it was my fault. Idiot. Of course it was. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. any closing thoughts on the DEF CON wrap up show? Wait, what's DEF CON? I'm Defcon not again? going next year. They have DEF CON every year? I'm not going. Yes. I didn't know they had it every year. I thought this was just like a one time thing. <laughs> I think they might. Don't quote yeah. me on that. My closing <laughs> thoughts are I had a lot of fun. I'm going to be back next year, but I'm dead tired, and I have a week to recharge before I go to hacking at random next you're, week. You're a complete con junkie. You've been how many cons have you been to this year now? Oh goodness! Or in the this past year, year, you've been to like this year. I've been to ShmooCon, NotaCon, NeighborCon, DefCon, and then I'm going to Har. You have a shitty social life. What was Hackers on a Plane? Con? Hackers on a Plane is the trip I'm taking to Har. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't get that. I just kept seeing it everywhere. Oh, hey, we should probably mention about the next three minutes, uh, three weeks, RBCP. Oh, yeah. Um, the phone show is not going to exist next week or the week after that or the week after that. That's yes! for those who are counting. I'm still going to I'm gonna be out of town, but I'm not going to bring all my microphone crap with me. So I'm still going to do a show from my laptop. 
Um, but it's not going to be a call-in show, and I'm probably not even going to talk on it. I might just play episodes of PLA Radio or um, the Big Beef Bueno show or uh, like a best of phone show. Something like that. But for the next three weeks, no phone or show. Or an hour of Tron masturbating on White Sword's phone. That would be great. Please, no. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> that'll, that'll show me for sure if we're on the air in New York. <laughs> Hello. So, Spessa, you should come to to DEF CON next year with me. Oh, all right. Okay, it's I a guess, deal. I guess I will. Next year at DEF CON. Spessa. And PLA Linear. Party. Linear, are you going to try and come next year? Oh, God, no. You haven't been there since like 2000, right? When you got... I haven't been there since, I think it was DEF CON 10. Yeah, you got kicked out for um, silly stringing uh, the Cult of the Dead Cal talk. That was <laughs> DEF CON 8. <laughs> I went there two years so later. Proud of that. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what was got it? to hang out with Cult of the Dead Cow after that, though. They're my heroes. Yeah. Uh, during a def- Cult of the Dead Cow talk, uh, Linear ran up on stage and sprayed everybody with silly string. Is that correct? I didn't get to see it. Yeah, it was me and uh, two other people who uh, don't do anything anymore. But um, yeah, so we sprayed them down. We all got kicked out of the con. And then hung out with the the Cult of the Dead yeah. Cow. Cult of the Dead Cow thought it was cool, but apparently yeah, they, they thought didn't. it was really cool, but the Defcon goons did not. I bet it was so cute. That stinks. It was adorable because I was I don't know I was probably like fourteen at the time. Yeah, remember. that was that was the year I met Linear, and yeah. he's like, "Hi, I'm Linear. <laughs> Want to hang out?" <laughs> I'm like, "Get away from me, stupid kid." <laughs> <laughs> I'm a teenage boy with silly yeah. string. Yeah, but still, he went out of his way to make sure that he met me at DEF CON, which was kind of creepy because he was like 25 years old at the time, and he touched me in weird ways. He is so creepy. And we, uh, we got to go now. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the phone show. <laughs> Let's um quickly see who this is calling. Hi, unknown oh, caller. Hi, unknown caller. Who are you? Hey, Better specific. late than never. Bye, unknown caller. Yeah, thanks for calling, unknown caller. Um Maybe you need to unmute your phone or something. Okay, let's wrap it up. Next three weeks, no sh- no live show, and uh, we'll be back after then. But, okay. you know, maybe I'll prepare something that's even cooler than this phone show. and Which yeah. could probably be pretty much anything. Yeah, so definitely stay tuned. I mean, uh, keep tuning in for that each week. Maybe something will happen. Maybe you'll hear some old PLA stuff that I can dig up. So uh, thanks. Uh, maybe the rest say... of your clips from social engineering. Yeah, maybe. I want to say hi to my special fan that threatened to never listen to the phone show again if I wasn't on. That was actually me, Spessa. Oh. <laughs> well, hi, I special kinda, fan. I, I kind of thought that was you, Spessa, just making up a fake email account to, to make yourself look cool. Definitely it was. <laughs> yeah, um, I can't remember what that guy's name was, but he uh, yelled at me through an email for Spessa not being on the phone enough. I mean, Spessa being on the show enough. It was me. Yeah. Yeah, it was you. It was Mr. Spessa. <laughs> He's my biggest fan. So, Ro- Rogue and uh, Spessa, thank you for being on the air for the past hour. Uh, Linear, I don't it really fun. care about you. All right. Well, bye, everyone. What a gentleman. That's the end of the phone show. I think for the next hour, I'm going to play a bunch of this Glenn Case guy because I just discovered him yesterday, and uh, I'm going to hear what he sounds like. So, hopefully, it doesn't suck too bad because... The next hour is going to be nothing but Glenn Case. Then we're going to go back to uh, Squid Dog and Rob. So here's Glenn Case. Good night. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.